listeners and viewers, welcome to Kaduna State Ministry of Education radio and TV e-learning program designed for our SS3 and other students staying at home due to the coronavirus pandemic. The present administration, under the able leadership of His Excellency, Malam Nasir Ahmed El Rufai, is positioned, as always, to ensure that under his leadership, our students are not left behind in all areas of human endeavors, especially education. Kaduna State is the center of learning. Therefore, we want to ensure that our students excel in their forthcoming examinations and beyond. Students and other learners at home are given this opportunity in order to continue learning as education is a continuous process. Different subjects will be taught in this program to assist students to perform excellently in the forthcoming Senior School Certificates examination being conducted by NECO and WAEC as soon as schools reopen. Teachers making presentations will always provide their names and phone numbers during each presentation and they can be contacted for questions, further explanations and or clarifications. The following numbers and contacts can also be reached for expression of any concern or observation. 090-865-00545 or 080-383-62072 our website is www.education.kdsg.gov.ng. Our email, education at kdsg.gov.ng or education.kdsg at gmail.com. Our YouTube channel, Ministry of Education, Kaduna State. Our Twitter handle, at Kaduna underscore MOE. Or our Facebook page, Ministry of Education, Kaduna State. Stay safe, stay at home, and learn well. Thank you, happy listening, and happy viewing. Good day, learners. You are welcome to the second segment of the topic, Cables and Connectors. Today, we are going to, in the study today, which is computer study, we are going to connect us. Don't forget during the first segment we treated cables. And during that period we said cables is the medium through which information moves from one network device to another. Still, you need to consider what I've told you before, that we have different types of cables which are twisted fair cable, quasia cable, optic fiber cable, and finally telephone cable. Don't forget I told you, you cannot just pick any cable and start connecting. That you have to connect them accordingly. You use the right cable for the right connection. Now, we are going to connect us. And like this, we are going to consider some outline. One, network connectors. Types of connectors that we use in connecting our network. The care of appropriate cable has to be considered, meaning that we are going to consider computer cables and connectors. Finally, the type of connector ports. Learners, what do we understand? by network connectors and the network connector is an electrical connector it is a conductive device for joining electrical circuits together the connector may be temporary as for portable equipment or may require a tool for assembly and a remover in that sense we are talking that of connectors you assemble them and disengage them. And there are some that are permanently connected between two wires or devices. If we understand what we, understand, we mean by network connectors. I said there are various types of connectors used in network cables. Connectors are used to connect cables together or other devices. It is the part of a cable 
that is plugged to a port or interface to connect one device to another. Learners, I want you to know or understand that most connectors are either male or female. When you are talking of the male, we are talking of the type of connectors that be that are having pins. Again, the connectors that are having pins, they are the female type. Why those ones that are having holes, they are the male type. When you look at a male and female human being, we are talking of the same thing. One has to be embedded, one has to be joined together for us to have full connectors. So, connectors are chosen in reference to cables and devices which are to be connected. Don't forget I've told you, you cannot just carry anyhow cable and thinking that you can just put anyhow connector. You have to consider the one that is in line with the cable. You cannot carry anyhow connector, don't forget, and use it with anyhow cable. They have to suit each other. Now, if you know that one, we have different types of connectors. One, we have RJ45, RJ11, and finally, T connectors. Again, we have three types of connectors. RJ45, RJ11, and T connectors. Now, let's look at the way RJ45 works. What type of connectors do we use with that RJ45? Now, RJ45 is the short name for Register Jar 45. You might be asked from where that what do you understand by RJ45? Or what does RJ45 connote? It connotes registered jar 45. It is an ace wire connector. When you look at the type of connector, you see there is a space that has eight wires. which is something of this nature. By the time you count it, you see that they are twisted. They are of different colors. One, two, three, four, five. This is the type of connector we're talking about, RJ45. And this RJ45 is being used in uh, land type of internet, especially Ethernet star. When you are talking of Ethernet star, Ethernet star is the type of Ethernet or the internet that has been, that has been kept in a school or building or vans, whereby there will be a hall in the middle that will transmit information to different nodes, meaning that to different computer that is being placed to be connected. RJ45 are used in networking, as I've said, to connect and the type of connect, the type of cable that we use is twisted tear cable. Don't forget I said you cannot just use any other cable. I think you are following me, learners. And don't forget, this is the type that we use in a building, in schools, in banks. So, let's go to the next type of connector that we have. If you check up, you will see it, it's, there is no difference between the one I'm holding and the one on your screen. We are now going to the next type of connector, which is RJ11. Learners, we've discussed about telephone type of cable. But what type of connector that did we use in making it successful, in making us achieving our connection? RJ11 is the best. I said RJ11 is the short name 
for registered child 11. It is of four or six wire. Presently, the one I'm holding, if you look at it, is of four wires. One, two, three, four. And if you are to look at it here, you see that this is one with brown color, the second one with red color, third one with blue color, and another one with light blue, light brown color. So it might be of four type, four wire or six wire. They are used primarily to connect telephone, as I've said, it is mainly used to connect telephone line to computer system for browsing purpose. Using telephone twisted cable. RJ11 connects stores are also used to connect some types of local area networking. Meaning that you can use RJ45, we can use RJ11 in connecting our land. Now, when you look at the diagram, there is no difference from the one I'm holding. One, two, three, four. There are four wires. Let's go to the third type of connector, which is BSCT connector. What do you understand by BSCT connector? I said this is the short name for Bionet Nail Consumer T connector. And this is commonly called T connector. It is the type of connector used in coaxial cable. Can you see that we are not using twisted here, but we said coaxial cables, in which I believe quite all right that if we understood that one when we were treating cables. And then you know at the same time that this coaxial cable is different from twisted, twisted pier cable. It is the type of connector used with coaxial cable in a 10 base to Ethernet system. The BSC connector is a male type of connector at each end of a cable. This connector has a center pin connected to the cable connector and a metal tube connected to the outside cable shield. A rotating ring outside the tube locks the cable to any female connector. In the same, we are talking of BNT T connector that is of female, is of male type. We will now connect it to the female part of connector, meaning to get the actual connection that is okay for us. BNCT connector used with the 10 base 2 system are female devices for connecting two cables to network interface card. connector allows connecting two cables together. We can see it from the diagram that we are connecting from this side and the other side. And this one will now go to our female connectors. Computer cable and connectors. What are the cables that we use in computer? in connecting our computers together. Let us, you might, you might have seen them here and there, even in your school labs. But well, can you recognize the type of cable you are seeing? Now, let's go straight to the types of cable that we use in connecting in our labs. 
The computer cables are connected for discussion. The coil cables are connected for discussion are power cable, data cables, and connectors. These are the ones that we use in connecting in our different labs. So, a computer uses different types of cable to connect different types of peripherals. What are the peripherals that we use? Our printer, our printer, and some other type of peripheral that's being connected to our system in schools. So, what do we understand by power cable? You have been seeing power cable just several times. One will be connected to your system, the other one will be connected to a socket, a wall in your school lab. So, a power cable or a main cable is a cord or a cable that temporarily connects an electrical appliance like a computer to the distribution circuit of an electrical power source via a wall socket. There should be a socket that your power cable will be connected to to really give you what you really wanted or an extension wall cord. So, take the two pin power cable main plugs and IC, IEC C13 plugs at the equipment end. These are used to supply electricity into the computer system. A power cable is an assembly of two or more electrical conductors usually held together with an overall sheet. The assembly is, the, is for transmitting or transmission of electrical power. Most computer supplies are a square metal box and have a large bundle of wires emerging from one end. Opposite the wire bundle is back face of the power supply with an hair vent and C14 connector to supply AC power. So, learners, when you get to school, try and check which one is power cable. Power cable is always connected to your system, which is your CPU, while the pin side of it will be connected to your extension in the screw that will be the one that will supply electricity the one that will supply power to your system now let's check data cables don't forget learners you have seen data cable but for you to identify is a problem today data cable are used to transmit information between system bus and a peripheral that is your computer central processing unit and to the peripheral, which are your printers, your monitor, which is visual display unit, where you are going to see the work that you are doing, the modem, and the mouse that you are using in controlling your work, and so on and so forth. There are different types of data, uh, the data tables. Their classification depends on the type of data transmitted and the destination port of the receiver. An example of your data cable is your charger. If you have an Android phone, is your charger in which you connect it to your system to receive an information or from your computer or your Android phone to your computer. Transfer to transfer information into your computer. A data table is any medium that allows baseband transmission. Your binary zero and one, which you know quite to write, that is the language that your computer understands from a transmitter to a receiver. Examples of, of data cables are printer cable. That means 
you plug it to your system and to your printer in order to receive printed work from your system. Universal Serial Bus, which is the one I've said about, we have different type of Universal Serial Bus. The monitor table, the one where as you are working on your system, you will be seeing it, you will be viewing what you are working on through your monitor. And finally, the serial cable and so on and so forth. If you look at the first one, there is no difference between the one I'm holding and this. Why the other one too is another type of data cable. So let us, where you see them, you should be able to identify them that they are all data cable. Now, connector is an electromechanical device used in connecting electrical conductors so as to create an electrical circuit. Electrical conductors are always in gender form, as I've said. That is male and female. I've told you, when you look at a girl and a boy, we're still talking of the type of electrical conductor. Which one will be male, while the other one will be female. And I've told you the one of male will have teeth, is that on it? Why the one of female we have just only holes? The male component is plug, while the female component is sockets. Audio connector, when you look at audio connector, there is a pin on both sides of audio connector. An example of the audio connector is standard headphone that we normally use. Standard headphone that we normally use. It's also known as TRC. T made for tip. SR is ring. Y the S is sleeve. It comes in different sizes, learners. And shapes, but the most common use in computer are 3.5 mm or one. 8 inches mini audio jack. Most speakers and microphones are connected to computers with the head of headphone jackets. Most speakers and microphones are connected to computers with the head of headphone jackets. That is audio cables. I've told you they have two pins. The one end there is Pin. The other side is pin. The microphone port is in computer is always depicted in pink color. The speaker port to be inserted to the stereo audio cable is also usually colored black, gray, and gold. Learners, as I've been saying. If you look at this, there are two, there are pin. One hand is having pin, the other hand is having pin. Now, types of connector ports. By having the connector connect devices, there are two types of connector ports, and namely male and female connectors. Male connector ports have pin. While the female connector spots have holes, one goes into the other one. If the cables have male connector, the device should have a female port. Now, learners, I believe that taking you through the type of connectors that we have, we divide the type of connectors, the, the connectors, and we list the type of connectors that we're having. RJ45, RJ11, and finally T connectors. And I was able to take you through the type of cables to use along with each one of them. Now we have come to the end of the class. Learners, I will not leave without giving you an homework. Go into more research. Now, assignments will be given to you 
Don't forget that when you do your assignment, you are telling me truly that I've really passed through something through you. But when you refuse to do it, there is nothing for you. Learners, these are the assignments. One, what is a connector? Two, list the types of connectors. Three, list two types of connectors in terms of gender and different shade them. The final one, which is for differentiate between data cable and power cable. I will take the assignment again. One, what is a connector? Two, list the type of connectors. Three, list two types of connectors in terms of gender and differentiate them. Finally, differentiate between data cable and power cable. Learners, if you want to submit your, I will refer you to some textbooks that will be of help to you. One, Computer Study for Senior Secondary School Education by HIIT PLC. Second, New Computer Studies by JOT Otuka. If you want to submit your assignments or there is any ambiguity, you can kindly call this number 080 3600 3145. My name is Babelu O Adiola. My number again, and it's still, it's still the same thing with my WhatsApp number 080 3600 Don't forget that you have to stay home, stay safe, and keep learning. COVID-19 is real. I wish you the best. Till we meet during the next edition, bye for now and remain safe.